amazing family welcome back to the last recipe hope you guys are doing very great so guys in today's recipe i will be sharing with you how to make oven baked coated peanuts aka peanuts burger so if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also please do not forget to join this channel membership to support this channel all right guys please let's get started first thing you're going to need to make this recipe is peanuts so i will be using raw peanut and i will be measuring two cups of raw peanuts here as you can see we just need two cup from cups of these peanuts so once i finish measuring the peanuts i'm going to use my hand to separate the broken one the bad one or any unwanted one from the peanuts make sure you do this because you're going to be coating the peanuts you are not roasting them just like regular peanuts so you need to separate the broken ones all right guys next i will pour the peanuts into a bowl next i will add one tablespoon of salt and oat oil the reason why i'm doing this is to blanch the peanuts you have to do this to get rid of the color you know the uh is it white color or dark red color from the peanuts that makes peanut taste better and bitter when you are eating peanut with the skin so that's the reason why you have to blanch the peanut if you are using the raw peanuts so i will soak the peanut for five minutes so after five minutes later i will drill out the water as you can see from the screen i'm going to remove them from the water this is the color I'm so I was talking about. You don't want to hit that because it makes your peanut taste bitter. Next, I'm going to pour the peanuts in a tray. I'm going to spread this in a tray and I will be some dry the peanut. If the weather is good, if the sun is hot, do this under the sun or you can use your oven to dry the excess water from the peanuts but make sure you do it on a low heat this is about one hour later the peanuts are completely dried as you can see the skins are peeling off very dry perfect okay guys let's set the peanut aside next i'm going to prepare my dry ingredients i will have a pinch of salt so a four cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of nutmeg i'm going to mix this together once i'm done with this i will set it aside next i will prepare the wet ingredients in a bowl i'm going to crack two eggs Crack two heads in the, uh, into the bowl and then I will add sugar. I will be using three tablespoons of sugar. If you want more sugar, you can add to it. Next, I will add vanilla flavor. This is optional. If you don't want it, please skip it. Next ingredient, I will add about four tablespoons of melted butter you know we'll be baking this coated peanut today so we need butter in this wet ingredients okay because we're not going to fry this so i'm going to mix together until the sugar is well dissolved now it is the time for coating process i will grab the peanuts next i will add about four tablespoons of uh, from the wet ingredient that I missed earlier. Now I'm going to mix this together. You just want to shake the bowl, just turn it around in a circular motion, guys. For the dry ingredient, if you want to add powdered milk, please add to it. And if you are allergic to eggs, please you can use. Uh, uh, a liquid milk instead of egg you can miss you can dissolve your sugar 
with milk yes if you don't want to use hair or maybe you don't like hair or you are allergic to it okay you can use maybe evaporated milk or whole milk okay once i finish adding the wet ingredient the next thing after mixing them together is to add the dried ingredient you just want to do this one after the other just keep doing this until your peanuts are well coated i'll be doing this for about eight times yes eight as you heard in this recipe no baking powder because in um uh, i have two videos of coated peanuts in my channel so one is coconut coated peanut the other one is just the, the normal one the regular one and in the comment section people were asking you didn't use um baking powder baking powder is not necessary in this recipe but if you feel like you can use it okay and i'm also sharing this with you guys because people were asking in the comment section can i bake this instead of frying it yes guys if you follow this process this method you can bake it but if you want to fry your recipe in this coated peanut the oven bake method please do not have melted butter if you will be frying this do not have melted butter just check out my other coated peanut recipe and you will see how i prepare the fried one so i've tried this several times and this is the best one that's the reason why i'm sharing with you guys now guys i finished coating all the uh, the peanuts so i will just pour the peanut into a strainer and get rid of the excess flour okay sift out the excess flour from your peanuts whether you're going to be baking it or you're going to be frying it frying them so guys i have my baking tray here i will spread my baking sheets on the baking tray then i will pour the coated peanuts on the tray i already preheated my oven on 150 degrees i finished spreading this coated peanut um, in the tray i will take it to the oven and i will be baking it on the low heat I will be using i will reduce the heat to 120 instead of 150 okay i will reduce it to 120 and i will be stirring this with my spatula or my wooden spoon for every 10 10 minutes guys this is about 16 minutes later the peanuts are out of the oven crunching looking so beautiful perfect oh my god tastes super delicious all right guys we come to the end of today's video i hope you will enjoy watching Thank you so much.